Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Bugs, and we're going to be going over all the sponsors, Inspector Divine, explaining all their abilities and some early tips and tricks on all these characters, so you can kind of get the idea of what sponsor you want to play when you get to play this game in the next play test. Now, one thing I do want to say is that when it comes to these sponsors, you're going to fall in love with their abilities and not their characters, because there are no characters. Yes, you get to choose whatever sponsor you want, and they just connect to your customizable character yes when it comes to outfits when it comes to face styling when it comes to facials all that stuff skin doesn't matter you get to choose everything how your character looks for your character and it's amazing before we start this video i do want to say that this is going to be a long long video so what i'm doing right now is i'm going to show you all the sponsors so you can see their abilities and see which one catches your interest so you can go to the timestamp of the video and see what characters you want to see fully also if you really like inspector you want to see more videos and hit the subscribe button guys all right, and our first sponsor is Pinnacle. This is probably your most basic build sponsor out of all of them, but let's get straight into it. Your first ability and your free ability is called Spinner Grenade, where it breaks off into eight pieces, doing 40 damage um, per hit and recharges every 75 seconds. Your second ability is Adrenaline Link, where when you're healing one of your specters, which is your secondary character, it heals up to 80 um, over time for 10 seconds. And your second specter, your, you know, your second character, um, when you switch to them while they're healing, you also gain enhanced vision um, which means highlighting your opponents when you see them and ignores weapon movement um, speed penalty. So that means having your knife, pistol, or gun out, you're still running at the same speed and at the highest speed. And then finally is your flash grenade where you could um, throw it normally for a 1.6 um, you know, explosion right after that blinds all characters in a line of sight. Yes, line of sight of the flash and I'll explain what that means. Or you can under throw it for it exploding in one second. This is how it looks when you're throwing your grenade. Again, you can underhand it as you please. And this is the radius of how the grenade is. Nothing too crazy, pretty big, but not too crazy um also you could cancel all these um abilities with by just pressing Friendly, another go. ability as you can see um next i just just showed you is the is your adrenaline, adrenaline. you could also be walking around when you're healing you are slower when you're healing you also aim in and shoot opponents and guess what you're guess what fully accurate as the game is you know adsing and stuff um you could charge as much as you want to, so for example, even if I'm at 100%, I could still, I guess, overheal charging pretty much by just having it out. So as you can see, I'm still healing. So if I get hit once, I'll still, you know, heal. Um, and then, uh, for example, this is what happens when you adrenaline link and then switch your character, Using adrenaline link, and you have um, heat saving vision. So I'm going to show you when I go look at an enemy, this is how they look to me now. They're shining bright red. And then, for example, uh, with a knife and without a knife, I am full speed. And yeah. <clears throat> and finally is the flash. And... Um, this is what they mean by line of sight of the flash. As you can see, even though I threw it behind me, I still get flash. Obviously, it's a little bit less, um, but you still get decently flash um, at certain angles. Quicker than others, but when you get direct flash just like this, it is probably the most gruesome flash. You don't know what the hell is going on flash. But yeah, um, no matter what, um, in line of sight, it will hit you. Also, you have two of each abilities, and you could double stem on both characters. So, for example, I could just stem on this character, and I could also stem on this character, and they will both be healing. And also, um, you can cancel it by just hitting the button again. All right, and our second sponsor is Morgan United, and their first and free ability is called Smoke Shift, where you throw a grenade and it leaves a cloud of smoke for 14 seconds. And an alternate fire of throwing it is that you'll also throw your smoke and your secondary character, which is your puck, um, within the smoke and it recharges every 60, 60 seconds meltdown uh you throw a like poisonous grenade fluid on the ground that does damage of 168 over the health of seven seconds and then finally it's called hidden grasp where you deploy a trap that cloak itself after deploying and then if your enemy walks into it creating a slow zone for 10 seconds all right so for your first ability it's like any normal smoke grenade you know you throw it you can throw it pretty far too Yo, and this is how it looks bam but if you right click it you will also be throwing your specter um, and then on the bottom right, it'll tell you like how long it will take for your specter to be um, activated, as you can see, 3.3. So whenever this smoke lands, that's how you long it's going to take. You can also queue up your spectator. So as soon as the smoke does pop up, you can move your character right away. And as you can see, you're in the smoke, you can pop out, you know, surprise your enemies, and that's how it looks. All right, and for your second ability is your poisonous fluid. This is how it looks. Um, you could throw it normally, you know, pretty far too, or you could under throw it like this. Um, this is the radius of it. It's pretty good. Um, and it also does damage 12 seconds or it does 12 damage every half a second the reason why i say half a second and not just 24 damage per second is because it actually ticks for half a second as Love you can see down. 12 24 36 you know as a quickly so yeah every half a second it does 12 damage accumulating up to 168 like it says but obviously he's gonna die before that even happens all right and for our final ability is the slow this is how it is this is the radius so obviously whenever a character goes in this radius the slow would activate i'm going to show you that real quick how it looks 
So when an enemy activates it, it does actually gets a little bit bigger, as you can see right here. Not Incredible. too crazy, but you know, it extends a little bit. Um, also, it affects everybody. So not only is it your enemies, it also affects you and your teammates. Um, the ability can be broken by shooting at it or uh, with other abilities, as you can see, and it won't proc it, it'll just destroy it completely. Our third sponsor is Bloom. Their first and free ability is a hex barrier that blocks bullets. The barrier is made of four sections with 150 health each, recharges every 30 seconds. Our second ability is Twin Med that heals your ally and their specter for 80 over 10 seconds or yourself and your specter for 40 for 10 seconds and finally we have a storm grenade that is a smoke grenade that does damage if you're within it only to your enemies um 100 over the span of 12 seconds and this is how the abilities play out as you can see this is the barrier uh, when you barrier. place them they will not go anywhere they have to be destroyed so that means they will stay here for the rest of the rounds but as you can see there are four sections so you have to do 150 damage per section to get rid of them um second is the healing um doesn't matter how far you are from your specter behind walls through it doesn't matter you will always heal you and your specter same thing with your ally let's say your ally is full hp on one of their specters but the one across the map is um you know damage it will still heal them um accordingly to the 80 that they will get and then finally is the the storm grenade which is a smoke that does damage over time as you can see this is how it's going to look just like the um first um or not the first the second um sponsor that you saw but obviously if an enemy walks into it um it does damage to them um but it doesn't do damage to you and your teammates our fourth sponsor is Riker. His first and free ability is called Wave Scan. It's a sonar spike that um, pulses three times towards your active body, and I'll show you what that means. Um, and also, enemies hit by it, pulse will be located for um, three seconds. And if you alternate throw it, um, it will bounce for one, and then you'll know, stick after that, and it recharges every 45 seconds. His second um, ability is called Hall Mine, which is a proxy mine that sticks to the ground. And after delay, um, it hits an enemy. Um, it will trigger three times, doing 15 damage, doing a total of 45 damage. And then finally, his Arc Century that deploys a... Um, century that heavily slows enemies within the line of sights and i'm going to show you how these abilities play out so for his first ability the sonar spike this one is not a lot to, to take in but it definitely um does play out on like how it actually works so for example it goes to your active body so depending on how far you throw this is depending on how much it scans so for example if i just throw it right here it's only going to scan where my active body is so right here bam and that is it It stops right here another trick is, is that you can also switch to your um specter when throwing it so for example now it's going to ping to this body because this is my active body now again like i just said it depends um on where your active body is so you could throw this in someone's spawn and it will clear everything so if i throw it here and i'm all the way back here it will keep pinging until it reaches my active body so yeah this character is pretty cool it's dope it also gets a lot of information that you need and yeah as you can see look it doesn't it doesn't stop until it gets near me and then yeah it has some long distance as you can see um his second ability is the whole grenade pretty much it's just like a proxy Not mine that mine. just you know when an enemy gets into it it just explodes it also can be active by shooting at it once um you have to you know do two damage not two damage but you know two bullets to, to get rid of it but yeah one bullet can activate it so for example if you are um going against this character actually you actually could proc it against your you know the person that's running it and you know vice versa making it backfire but this is how it looks uh, when oh, someone's in it activates boom blasts for 15 and yeah nothing too crazy but it's good passive damage and then finally is the the arc century and as you can see it has massive range but what it does is pretty much slows Listen, down and it kind of waves and also pings not pings but it lets you know like hey someone's in your like area so it literally is good to hold it down sights and lanes um because they either have to break it or guess what it's literally gonna say hey someone's here um, it doesn't tell you exactly where the app, but you know where it's, you know, patrolling. Our fifth sponsor is Vector. Their first and free ability is called Dual Amp, which deploys a marker and gain a 15% fire rate buff. Reactivating the same button um, teleports your specter to the marker, giving them a fire rate buff, and it also resets on kills. So that means when the timer is going down, you get a kill, it'll go back to 8 seconds, and it recharges every 30 seconds. Their second ability is called Vector Wall. It's just a slow-moving nano wall um, that blocks vision, so you can shoot through it. That lasts for 10 seconds, and if you right-click it, the wall moves even faster and only lasts for six seconds and finally we have the nano spear that deploys a bounce a bouncing nano swarm that deals 90 damage over 2.5 seconds to the first enemy it gets near this is how the abilities play out for your q you drop a marker where you can instantly um, spawn your spe specter there you also get the rate of fire boost you know shooting your gun shooting even faster uh, you press it again your specter instantly spawns there your second ability is the wall um, you know you shoot it out 
You can shoot through it, you just walk with it like normally. Um, and if you right click it, obviously you get a faster wall with lesser seconds, but same thing, you can walk with it, shoot through it, all that stuff. And finally is your nano sphere where it will just keep bouncing until it hits an enemy. And once it hits an enemy, it will just do not over 90 damage. They have to shoot it to destroy nano it. They can destroy it um, before it gets to them too. A little bit harder, as you can see, it's bouncing. But once it gets to them, um, it hits as I obviously just missed, so I'm just gonna throw it straight to him this time. Um, they can't just walk away from it, they have to shoot it to break it. I just it stays stationary after that, so it's easy to break. Our sixth sponsor is Ghost Link, and their first and free ability is called Partition, which deploys a wall that blocks line of sight for eight seconds. The wall is not stopped by terrain, so you can use this through walls and stuff, and it blocks vision. You try to walk through it, and it lasts for 45 seconds. Our second ability is called Dupe, instantly deploying a dupe of your current body, whether you're running, crouching, slow walking, doesn't matter, it'll work. Um, it lasts for 5.5 seconds and additionally if you leave a dupe um additionally it will leave a dupe behind when you throw your puck so for example if you're across the map and you throw um your specter to be closer to you it will also leave a dupe um at your previous body to trick the um, opponents and if they do shoot it it will briefly um reveal on um, where they're at so i'm talking about full highlighting through the walls and stuff and everything um and thirdly and uh, thirdly your third ability is called dead zone you throw a grenade that creates a, a large um distortion field of blurry vision that blocks all players including yourself for 10 seconds and i'm gonna show you how it looks so for example partition is just a straight wall that looks like this right, obviously up. if you walk through it you get blurry you get close to it you get blurry um terrain doesn't stop it so for example you can start you know partition doing stuff up. like that you know place your walls normally um, your second ability is called dupe. So like I was saying it depending on if you're walking running crouching It will mimic you. So for example, if I'm walking normally going I'm just gonna have a dupe that's running make sound effects and everything and yeah your enemies do hear it I could also be crouching. So it looks like you know a Another way of like hey, I'm coming to you same thing with walking slow. And yeah, um, it will always go straight. Uh, obviously, you know, um, it will get stopped by terrains. It will just, you know, walk in place and stuff, stuff like that. And then finally, it's distortion, which I really, really like. You can throw it normally and far, or you can under, you know, hand throw it. But yeah, uh, what it does is like literally, it's like a, not a better flash, but it literally blurs out a vision of an uh, area. So for example, if I throw it here, that whole vision, if you walk into it and you're trying to like peek, you cannot peek. So for example, this is how it looks. You look like you can't see what the hell is going on for you. So, for example, if you want to block off your enemies pushing you, you literally could just throw your C right here. Like, for example, that corner, like, oh, they got to come to you. Right, you know out. that if they try to walk and shoot you, they're going to be completely blind um, trying to come around, you know, this corner. Like, oh, okay, got to go, you know, bam, blurred as hell. Also, this is how it looks when your specter leaves a dupe. Um, they look normal actually um, on their on your opponent's screens, but yeah, um, they can be walked through and stuff. But obviously, in a real game, you want to walk through that. You're gonna try to kill them, and then when you kill them, you know there's a fake, and then we'll reveal you. Our seventh sponsor is Mew Robotics. Um, your first ability and your free ability is called Patches, which is a drone that moves forward and heals you and your allies. I'm um, in a radius for 80 um, health over 12 seconds, and if you right click, it, it'll be a stationary drone, um, and it charges every 60 seconds. For your second ability, it's called Dazzler. Deploy a flying drone that um, follows your crosshair. After one second, the drone explodes and obscures the vision of any enemy in line of sight. So you cannot flash your teammates or yourself, but it will um, hit enemies um, in line of sight, just like the flash. And I'll show you that, um, how it looks. And the third ability is called Hyper Throne. Throw a grenade that creates a permanent fast recall zone and has 150 shield dome on the floor impact and has a shield dome um, that lasts for 14 seconds. And let me show how these abilities um, work. For example, your first ability, um, when you know you need to heal and stuff, it also bounces off walls. Um, it just okay. normally heals, bounces off walls, and just keeps going forward. Um, that's not a wall, so it's gonna keep going forward. Um, as you can see right here, bam, that's how it's supposed to look. Um, and then if you right click it, it'll stay stationary and it won't move, move and it'll heal you and your allies and your specters all for 80, as you can see. Um, your second ability is your Dazzler. This is like a flash. Um, I'm gonna try to get like actual game footage to show you how it looks, but pretty much this hits anywhere line of sight. So for example, okay, if I'm in the up. air, it hits your enemies. If I'm behind this wall over here, it hits your enemies. Yes, this um, flash is really obscured. Um, it is really crazy. Um, it only really works long range. Like you really can't see close range. You can still pretty see very easily, but long range, like right here, they are like still blurry. You can kind of see, but yeah, it's pretty strong. It's a really strong move. And then finally, um, is the recall thing. So on certain maps, as you can see right here, your specter. Um, could get recalled faster. For example, when it's not on the green stuff, it's 1.5 seconds. When it's on the green stuff, it's nearly, I want to say 60 to 70% faster. And as you can see, it's 0 0.5 seconds. So um, you're actually able to just create this on the map whenever you want to. And it also gives you a bubble shield for 150 damage. Um, this is another thing that I feel like a lot of you players uses right now is that we, instead of using it as a recall, because 
in the game, two, three seconds isn't that long, at least right now, because you know there's not a big learning curve or yeah, it's a skill curve. Um, you most likely use it for like um, peeking corners or stopping op shots or stopping um, semi, you know, um, weapons and stuff because it's pretty much just like a shield of like, oh, I can look um, to see if, you know, there's an enemy in front of me and you can use it as shielding. Um, the only thing is that it lasted for 14 seconds, which is still a good time. But yeah, pretty much you're able. Oh, and the recall zone stays forever. So for, again, for example, you see how it is on the bottom right. It says 2.3 seconds to get him over here. Um, but if I, you know, put in a bubble is less than a second and they come faster. Pretty awesome. Our eighth and final sponsor is umbra their first and free ability is called recon ring you throw a drone that sticks to the first surface it hits after 1.2 seconds the drone reveals enemies within the range for 2.5 seconds uh targets marker instantly create a aoe at the marker reveals uh 2.5 and recharges every 50 seconds i'll explain what the marker means later um pulse finder or yeah pulse finder instantly equip a scanner that pulses every two um two seconds for 30 seconds enemies um hit are detected and leave a marker at their location detecting enemies can see the remaining pulses and then finally it's called glare burst deploy a drone that charges 1.5 seconds and then blinds all players including yourself um for aoe for four seconds and then target marker instantly creates an aoe at the marker that blinds enemies all right and this is how their abilities work so for your first ability you just stick it to the wall um uh, within the radius you know if the enemy's getting hit it will ping and highlight them you know through walls and stuff for you um for your second ability is the pulse finder pulse finder. literally having Run the pulse finder out um allows you to see where your enemies are they don't have to make a sound or anything just as long as they walk into that you know pulse finder they're gonna get ping and marked just like how they are right now and then finally is your um c ability which is the flash so for example this is the flash and yes you and your friends and everyone can get flashed by this you can also do this through walls so you know if you want to check areas or clear something Rolling those who can burst. you know do a quick flash and then go around you know check it and stuff pretty awesome and now let me explain what the whole market thing is for you so for example your specter if you didn't know you can actually use your abilities and swap over using your specter okay, so for example this is the finder. pulse finder and i'm gonna switch back and he's still gonna be pulse finding um you have to look once you once your a target is marked you have to look in that area for your other abilities to work because if i'm not looking it's not going to pop up as you can see but when i look at them i have arrows saying hey press the button press the button so now when i press the q recon, it's just going to be the recon directly going on them showing them exactly where they're recon, at so it's going to be like a big highlight like that like hey they're over here or i could just send, send out a quick flash that's going to completely just blind them for me and Blair you know do down. it and it's, again it's a radius thing as you can see even my specter is getting hit by it all right guys and those are all the sponsors inspector divide hopefully you enjoyed this video and i give you enough information that help you decide what um, sponsors you want to start off with when you get a try off this game comment down below if you want to see some tips and tricks with these sponsors on actual maps and if you do enjoy specter videos then hit the subscribe button guys and i'm out peace yeah, she got a man she don't really give a fuck about left him back home in a whole nother state moved to la because she want to be famous got another five on the side she a waitress but it's getting tough hard to find